The 15-inch MacBook and iPhone 15 Pro are upcoming Apple products that most users had high hopes for because of the high-end specs they are speculated to come with. This is gonna be good. I am so excited. But recent leaks have made us aware that that is not a very disappointing case. Join us in the video for more details. 15-inch MacBook Air leaks and rumors. The 2022 MacBook Air measures 13.6 inches. It is incredibly thin and lightweight. You can even open it with one hand. If care is not taken, you might mistake it for an iPad because of the size. Smaller displays show less information, and you know how the saying goes, bigger is better. That is true. And a smaller display means smaller internals. Rumors had it that Apple was planning on launching a bigger MacBook Air and that it would come with a 15 inches display, making it the biggest MacBook Air with the Pro models aside. With a bigger display, more content can be shown, and gaming will be fun because none of the players will be hidden, and movie characters will be accurately represented with none of the features cut off from the screen. Bigger means bigger internals like the battery and processor. Let's see what the other specs have in store for us. Design The 13-inch MacBook Air had a flat edge design which made it comfortable to hold, easily openable, and aesthetically beautiful. The 13-inch MacBook Air is 0.63 inches thick and weighs only 2.8 pounds due to the compactness of the device. The keyboard tends to get cramped due to lack of space, so typing is a bit uncomfortable and the touchpad is relatively smaller, which makes it usage not enjoyable. Basically, it really sucks. The 15-inch MacBook Air is also speculated to come with the same design as the 13-inch MacBook Air. McCruver states, the 15-inch MacBook Air is expected to use the same general design as the 2022 13-inch MacBook Air. So we will see a flat edge design and a 500 nits retina display for a better viewing experience. Although it might be coming with the same design as the 13-inch MacBook Air, there are going to be some significant upgrades that will set it apart from its predecessor. Content creators are always concerned about the camera and battery, and we will delve into that very soon. Camera The 1080p webcam found on the 13-inch MacBook Air was decent. You will look your best in that video call or online lectures. You wouldn't miss out on anything. Although the webcam quality was good, it could have been better. Could have been, huh? There were some color inconsistencies in the background that wasn't very great. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the insightful updates when the 15-inch MacBook Air is finally released, because we are sure you wouldn't want to miss that for anything. The 15-inch MacBook Air is also rumored to come with a 1080p webcam. It didn't perform that great on the 2022 model, but I hope it will come with much better upgrades so content creators and virtual workers will be able to create mind-blowing content and also enjoy their online meetings. What do you think the battery capacity of the 15-inch MacBook Air will be? Battery life. The battery life of the 13-inch MacBook was incredible. It lasted for 14 hours and six minutes. You can work on multiple Chrome tabs, do photo and video editing, and even game alongside without worrying about the battery. Isn't that impressive? As a matter of fact, it is. Although the battery performance is good, pushing it off the limit will drain the battery. For instance, when you set the brightness to the highest and open about 100 Chrome tabs and do more intensive video editing will reduce the battery health. The 15-inch MacBook Air will come with improved battery performance and with MagSafe charging port for faster charging capabilities and also more battery longevity for all your everyday tasks. Let's talk briefly about the iPhone 15 Pro leaks and then get down to business. iPhone 15 Pro leaks. The iPhone 14 Pro model came with rounded edges and a curved design, which made it sleek and also easy to handle. But the bezels were a bit thicker, which took up part of the display, meaning that when reading articles on the phone, less information will be represented so more scrolling. The iPhone 15 Pro is rumored to come with a curved design, but with thinner bezels and a flat display, so there will be more viewing space and comfortable to hold. Nice! Is the Dynamic Island appearing on the iPhone 15 model? Let's find out. Dynamic Island. The iPhone 14 Pro has a Dynamic Island feature with more software than hardware. 
you can see incoming calls and other notifications in the pill cutout shape at the top of the display. It was handy all the time. Design-wise, the Dynamic Island felt out of place. The previous iPhone models had notification centers that showed all these important events and information, so there was no need for the Dynamic Island feature. The iPhone 15 Pro might come with the Dynamic Island feature once again. Most users already find it useful, while others might not. You can receive incoming calls, change your playlist, and other helpful stuff. The camera department is coming with some significant upgrades. Oh yeah? I don't doubt that. Camera. The 48 megapixels primary camera, 12 megapixels ultra wide camera, and 12 megapixels telephoto of the 14 Pro model were to die for. Images captured had the right colors, very vibrant and natural. The 14 Pro already offers up to 6x optical zoom, but more is needed, especially for content creators and photo lovers. We usually want to zoom in so we can see the objects when we can't get close enough, but still want to appreciate its beauty. And the 6x is just not enough. The periscope lens making an appearance on the flagship iPhone 15 Pro model will take pictures to a different level. Offering up to 10x optical zoom and more will genuinely represent the object no matter how far it is without compromising on quality. How exciting! Physical buttons and solid state buttons? Make a choice. Solid state button. The iPhone 14 Pro came with physical volume and power buttons. When pressed, you can feel it move beneath your fingers. It is normal because most phones come with these buttons. It doesn't give any problems and works perfectly fine. These buttons hinder water resistance capabilities, and it might even get damaged if accidentally dropped. The solid state buttons rumored to come with the iPhone 15 Pro housed haptic engines that give off this haptic feedback when pressed. But in fact, the button didn't move. With it on board, the water and dust resistance will also increase. According to Ming Chi Kuo, the solid state button might not appear on the 15 Pro models because of the increase in the cost of production. Something is cooking on the port side, and we will find out very soon. Ports. The lightning port on the 14 Pro was fast. Could fast charge and transfer data at a decent time frame. Although the data transfer speed was decent, it wasn't great. True that. It was annoying sometimes when you needed the data very urgently. Per the EU's directive, the iPhone 15 Pro might come with USB-C which possesses super fast charging and data transfer qualities. Now comes the bad news. Processor. The M2 chip found in the 13-inch MacBook was excellent. It could handle any task, be it photo or video editing, gaming or multiple Chrome tabs working in the background. There were no lags whatsoever. With a base model of 8GB of memory and 256 SSD stored on a single NAND chip, transfer of large data and multitasking slows down the laptop because of the small memory and upgrading it will make the cost of the device go high. Since customer satisfaction is what Apple is aiming at, they are constantly striving for the best. Anything else you need? Rumors have it that the 15-inch MacBook Air will house the M3 chip, which is packed with incredible performance. The M3 offers up to 40-core CPU, which is much higher than the M2's 12-core CPU since it runs on TSMC's 3N chip, accompanied by improved performance and battery life. What chipset will the iPhone 15 Pro house? Any ideas? The A16 Bionic chip of the 14 Pro is top-notch as well. Handles any task like a pro, hence its name. But as it's giving you top-notch performance, it is consuming more power to do that. Ready? We need power! We're gonna crash! This, in turn, causes overheating and a rapid drain on battery life. The iPhone 15 Pro was also rumored to come with the M3 chip, packed with astounding performance, due to more CPU and GPU cores. Leaks later debunked the rumor of the 15-inch MacBook Air and the iPhone 15 Pro coming with the M3 chip due to the delay in its production. Sad. We were all in high hopes because of M3's incredible performance since it runs on TSMC's 3NN chip. So improved performance and battery life. But sadly, it's not making an appearance in either the 15-inch or 15 Pro. The iPhone 15 Pro will house the A17 Bionic chip.
while the 15-inch MacBook Air is speculated to come with two M2 chips for better performance. What is your thought on this sad news? Is two M2 chips a good enough substitution? Leave us a comment in the comment section below. The battle between the M1 and M2 chipsets. Who is the winner? Check out our next video to find out. Please like and share this video with all Apple lovers out there. Until next time, stay safe.